In this video, I'm going to be ranking the best centers in NBA 2K23. My team, we have a tier list here that ranks from S all the way down to the D tier category. And we have about 20 of the best centers in the game. Guys, let me know in the comment section down below who are some of your guys' favorite centers in the game right now. And let me know what you guys would change up on my list. The first center here, though, is going to be Diamond Car uh, Carl Anthony Towns. And I think he's a very solid center. I would say probably B or maybe in that A tier category. I'm just going to go in the middle and throw him in B tier for now. Maybe he gets moved up to A tier later in the video. But overall, guys, I think Cat's a very solid center. He's 6 foot 11 with a 7 foot 3 wingspan. I mean, stats wise, defensively, he's definitely not going to be the best. He does have an 87 block and an 80 interior defense, but going to feel super slow on defense, really not going to be the best at defenders. But if we're, talk if we're talking about a stretch big, that's where he's definitely going to excel. Having Hall of Fame catch and shoot, Claymore, corner specialist, guard up, while also having a 93 ball with a pretty solid jump shot is nice to have so i will save you guys looking for a good stretch big i would say cat is definitely going to be a very good option moses malone i think is going to be in the a tier category this moses card guys is actually super elite at the center position he's six foot ten with a seven foot two wingspan and he's going to be a great defender and a very versatile center only a 67 three ball but if you do have a coach boost for example with a guy like okay so monty doesn't give him the coach boost so if you have a guy like steve kerr right and and then you also have a shoe boost on him you can get this up to a 75 three ball which really isn't that bad but even if you have no coach and you maybe just you know add a shoe boost to him and now he's at a 71 three ball definitely should be fine enough in my opinion because he does have a good jump shot and in this game you can definitely green consistently with the 67 or maybe a 73 ball but other than that i mean the card's going to be a great defender he's a great rebounder he's super fast 85 speed has really good strength and he's got 90 standing dunk which is really really key this year he's got hall of fame bully hall of fame masher i mean overall moses malone gonna be a very good center that i feel like a lot of people aren't talking about looking at galaxy double anthony davis i mean you guys could definitely guess where he's gonna be obviously gonna be in that s tier category i wouldn't say anthony davis though is the best center in the game you guys probably know who i'm talking about as the best center but i think anthony davis is number two in the game right now i think you could definitely still make the argument that he's the best center in the game i mean look at these stats 95 interior defense 89 block 80 steal 84 perimeter he's a great defender I mean, these stats are just amazing for this time of the year. He's also got 15 Hall of Fame badges, and he's able to get every single badge in the game. So Anthony Davis, definitely going to be in that S tier category, which will consist of my top five set, uh, top five centers. So in S tier, going to be the top five centers in the game. Looking at Big Z, I think he's also going to be an A tier center. He is really, really, really slow, but... I mean, he's still going to be a very good center card, really good shooter, obviously going to be a great defender, at least on the interior. Like I said, definitely going to be a little bit slow. Looking at Bull Bull, as much as I think he's really glitchy, I just think he's too skinny in game. Maybe you could throw him in B tier. That's probably the highest I would put him, but I think at the center spot, he is 7'2 with a 7'7 wingspan, a little too slow and really not that good of a defender. But if you're looking for another stretch a stretch big, kind of like a guy like Cat, but I'd, I'd much rather have a guy like Carl Anthony Towns over a guy like Bull Bull. So I think Bull Bull in C tier is going to be a fair ranking. Kevin Garnett, 1000% going to be in that S tier category. Obviously, he's not the best center in the more. There's Anthony Davis and another guy that just came out that we'll talk about later in the video that I think are better than KG, but KG is still an amazing center. He's six foot 11 with a seven foot two wingspan. He's going to be a great defender, 95 interior defense with a 92 block as well. He's got some really good Hall of Fame defensive badges, including anchor, interceptor, post lockdown, rebound chaser, and he's also also got a really good jump shot it's one of my favorite jump shots in the game right now at least for a big man so i would say kevin garnett definitely going to be in that s tier category elton brand i think is very solid he's a little bit i would say undersized for the center position and really doesn't excel at anything necessarily so i think elton brand gonna be in that b tier category blake now this is a tough one i think for the center spot i think blake's gonna be at least in b tier i mean he's way better than bull bull at the center spot but blake i mean i still do like his jump shot i'm a lot higher on the card than a lot of people are at this time i still do think he's very solid six foot ten with a six foot eleven wingspan just if you look at his stats though i mean his defense is terrible i do think he plays a little bit better in defense in game than kind of these stats and badges do show but i mean driving to the basket this card's gonna still be super elite 94 strength 97 vertical 
total with a 98 driving dunk and a 98 standing dunk. So Blake going to be a great finisher on the rim. He's also got an 88 mid range, 83 three ball with a very good jump shot. So I think Blake Griffin still going to be a B tier center. And the guy that was talking, the guy I was talking about a lot before is going to be Pink Diamond Hakeem Olajuwon. I think you guys could guess that he's going to be at the uh, in the S tier category and that he's the guy I think is the best center in the game. Like I said, obviously Anthony Davis, I think you could make the argument that's still the best center. But this Hakeem card, guys, is seven foot with a seven foot three wingspan with a 93 ball Hall of Fame catch and shoot and Hall of Fame corner specialist. Hakeem Olajuwon, who's a great defender, can grab rebounds, he's decently fast, has a very solid jump shot. They gave him a 93 ball. Like, he is the best center in the game. There's a reason why he's going from a million to 1.2 million. There's a reason why he's the best center in the game, in my opinion. Obviously going to be in that S-tier category. Another S-tier center is going to be Joel Embiid. I think he's pretty underrated. Not a lot of people are talking about him, but Joel Embiid, I still think, is a very, very good center. Dikembe Mutombo. I mean, he is a good inside big, but I think he's just a little bit too slow. I mean, 56 speed at this time of the year, he's going to get exposed. Obviously, can't shoot a three ball. But if you're looking for a good inside center that can play really good defense, at least on the interior, I think Dikembe could definitely serve a purpose, right? Seven foot two with a seven foot six wingspan and obviously going to have a really good player model. So I think Dikembe still going to be in that B tier category. Now, Will Chamberlain. I don't know if he's a top five center, so I'm going to put him in A tier for now. Obviously, the best inside big in the game, but I think we'll have to come back to him later in the video to see if he maybe goes up to S tier. Looking at Chet, I mean, once again, just like Bull Bull, I think they're too skinny, not great defenders, and just going to get bullied at the center spot. I think at power forward, Chet's actually not that bad and actually a pretty decent card. Bull Bull and Chet, though, at the center spot, I think just are a little bit too skinny and just really not that really not the best of defenders. Kevin McHale, though, I think is going to be an A tier. Once again, might move him up into that S tier category. I would say right now, I'm really thinking about either Kevin McHale or Will Chamberlain to move up into the S tier category, but McHale, obviously going to be a very good center option. Jermaine O'Neal, I think, is going to be a little bit lower than a guy like Big Z. I think Big Z is just a little bit better than Jermaine, but I'd say Jermaine is probably definitely going to be high B tier. Chris Bosch, he is another guy, another guy that I'm really thinking about putting in that S tier category. I think for my S tier, it's really going to be between Chris Bosch, Kevin McHale, and Will Chamberlain. Let me know in the comment section down below. If you guys had to choose between those three centers, who would you guys have at that last spot, a last spot in S tier? I'll make my decision probably at the end of the video. Jokic. I mean, honestly, I'm probably going to go D tier. If you're a Jokic fan, you're probably going to be pretty, you know, pretty upset or pretty mad. Or you might just think whatever. I, I don't like that Jokic card at all. I think I'd rather a guy like Cheddar Bobo. So Jokic, for me, is going to go in that D tier category. So bonus, Big Z. I mean, they're pretty much the same card. They definitely have to both be in A tier. LaMarcus Aldridge, I think, is actually not a bad budget center at all. But I would say for this tier list, he's going to have to be in that C tier category. But going to be a lot better than Bull Bull and Chet, in my opinion. Just kind of not on the same level as guys like Cat, Blake Griffin, Dikembe, you know, Jermaine O'Neal. And then I think Alonzo Mourning is actually going to be in that A tier category. He's a very underrated card. So yeah, guys, that's going to be my center tier list. I, like I said, I do need to move one of these guys up into S tier between Will Chamberlain, Kevin McHale, and Chris Bosch. And this may shock a lot of people, but I'm going to go Chris Bosch. I think he's a really good stretch big and a lot better than people expect. I think Will Chamberlain, Kevin McHale, obviously still going to be very good options. And I think most people will choose the Kevin McHale option for that last center spot. But in my opinion, I'm going to go Chris Bosch. But let me know in the comment section down below. What do you guys think about my centers tier list? And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.